everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and in today's video I have three makeup hacks that I want to share with you. So if that interests you, stay tuned. Okay, so like I shared in my intro, I have three makeup hacks I want to share with you. One is for the eyebrows, um, one is for a foundation, and the last one is a contour hack. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first off, let's start with this foundation hack. I'm gonna be using this foundation, but it's Makeup Forever, the HD Glow, Hydro Glow Foundation. This is a very hydrating foundation. It's, uh, you know, I have dry skin, so if you have dry skin, this would be a good fit for your skin. I don't think maybe it would be good for somebody who, well, actually, I know it wouldn't be good for somebody who has oily skin. So anyway, so what this foundation is, I'm gonna tuck my hair back, is you take, one pump of the foundation, right? And you squeeze it, you pump it out into the center of your hand, right? Like so. <clears throat> and then you take your foundation brush, which I'm gonna be using this Sonia G, right? This foundation brush, whatever makeup brush, uh, foundation brush that you have, it doesn't really make a difference. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna directly go into that foundation and put it in and completely swirl it around like so. Now, I saw this hack on another channel. It was Risa Does Makeup. Uh, I believe she saw it on, on TikTok or whatever. So really, I'm just sharing some information that I saw this week on, on YouTube. Anyway, so then you, like, you have it completely. All the foundation is gone from in your hand. It's into the brush. And then you simply just apply the blush. And it goes on seamless. Right, it looks very airbrushed looking when you put it on. It's not heavy at all. So if you do not like a heavy uh, full coverage foundation, this is a great trick. Even if you do, you can still go in and just do another pump if you want more a heavier foundation, a heavier application I should say, and go in and just kind of swirl it around all over. You know, I might have to spend a little bit more time where I have that hyperpigmentation there and just kind of go around. And what it does, it just really evenly distributes it all over the face. So you can see it's a very sheer looking uh, application. And I'm loving this foundation, especially if your skin has a tendency to be dry. Now, moving into summer, I probably will be moving in using a different type of foundation, one that's not so glowy. So yeah, that's it pretty much. That's a simple like foundation hack. To, you can go in there, you don't have to worry about using a sponge. A lot of times with a sponge, like a lot of the product comes off onto the sponge. So this is really, uh, it really is, works very, very well. Okay, so the next one is, is an eyebrow hack. And I have my eyebrows on already. Um, so, and what I, what I did is I did them, I did them like, oh, I usually use like a number three in the benefit and I use the number 3.5, which is too dark for my, for my uh, brows. I don't like them this dark. It's, it may not look too dark on the camera, but in person it really does look dark. And what this one is, you take a setting powder or finishing powder, any type of powder that you have. I'm using this one here by one size from Patrick Star. Okay, I'm using it in Sweet Honey. You can see it has like a skin tone look to it, a little bit yellowy orange color to it, but it doesn't look that way on the skin. And then you take a blending brush, right? I'm gonna use this one here by MAC. It's the 2245 brush. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna tap in there. I'm gonna tap off some of the excess, right? So my brush is nice and coated. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I am just gonna kind of drag that across my brow so that they don't look as harsh and just kind of keep playing around with it till I get it to the point where I like it. Now I might go in with a little bit more, tap off the excess and just kind of work it in the front part of this brow. Yeah, and you can see how that kind of like softens it up compared to that brow over there, which looks to me like a little too hard. Okay, so let's go in, I'll do the other brow. Again, you tap it off, the excess, go in there. Now this is a great trick to do if you are, you know, you don't have your brow color that you normally use and you only have a darker color, you can go in and, you know, just kind of soften it up a little bit. Or if you're in a hurry, you, you know, 
you just made your brows way way too dark for your liking go in there and just take a little bit of powder it's better than having to completely take off that brow yeah so anyway if you're getting any value from this video please consider subscribing giving this video a thumbs up and hopefully I will see you in my next video so that's it you can just see how it kind of took it down it might go a little bit more and just kind of soften up the front part of this brow okay here we go yeah so that is more more balanced look it looks doesn't look as harsh as on my uh on my face okay so now the last hack is a bronzer hack or no it's a contouring hack i should say and i'm going to take um i'm going to take this bronzer it is by gucci it is in the number two in gucci i believe they have four shades uh, anyway, um, I love this bronzer. You can see, right? So I'm going to take my bronzer brush. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to swirl it around and then I'm going to tap off any excess. And what you do is you take your hand like so, right? And you take it and you put your thumb underneath your eye. You put your pointer finger right above your ear. And typically this is where you want to put your bronzer is in this area, right? And you want to go up in here and then around almost like you do the number three. But with this side, you know, sometimes a lot of times people go in here and put the bronzer on and they bring it down too far or they bring it down too low in here. So this really prevents you from doing that. So if you take your finger, put it there, put your hand here, and then take that brush. I'm doing this with my left hand and go in there and just kind of uh, position the brush right there and then just kind of, you know, brush it on there. And you can see you're going to have right there where the uh, the bronzer is and then you can go in and you can kind of just kind of blend it in a little bit more if it looks like it's too harsh and bring it up but you have the angle which is really important you have this angle going on and then going up so you don't and then you try not to bring it down here but i mean you don't want to have a hard line there so you might want to just kind of soften it but if you do just kind of soften it bring it up up and back towards the hairline Okay, so that's one side. I'll do the other side again for you so you can see. <clears throat> again, you take it, roll it around in your bronzer there. Top off the excess. Go in here. Now, if you're in the market for a new bronzer, like Sephora is actually having their sale. Uh, it started on the 5th and goes through to the 15th. Now would be a good time to pick up a bronzer. And go right in here. There you go, and you have your bronzer on. Wow, there's a little bit of a line there. I don't want that, so I would just take this and kind of brush it up. And then you can just put your blush over the top of it. If you feel like it got too hard, you can just say, you know, just take some of your setting powder, go in there. <clears throat> Is that not a good trick too? It's just take some of that setting powder, right? And kind of soften it up a little bit, right around the edges, right? So it doesn't look so hard kind of tones it down a little bit <clears throat> and that's it guys those are my three hacks um I have my eye makeup on I use actually I use the Natasha Denona palette the uh, glam palette and on my lips I have the city lips it's in the color crimson you can see it's a pretty color right and a pretty color and oh I mean you know what and Oh, and I have this Dior blush I'm going to be putting on too. So let's see, put that on. Okay. So that is it. Those are my three hacks to, uh, you know, hopefully help you with your makeup application. Again, if you gained any value from this video, please consider subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>